Google Web Toolkit Create First Widget by Brandon Donaldson. First, I like to create a package to put the widget into. I'll name it First Widget. Next, I right click on the package and go New UI Binder. You can choose from GWT widgets or HTML. Right now, we will choose GWT widgets. And the UI will look like XML. We have the U UI XML. I turn on the designer. It does not work without a root element. There we go, there's our root element. Three parses. On the left, there's a palette. You can slide elements or widgets into the components window. I like to add vertical panel because it gives you a quick table structure styling. For this example, it'll work good. I'm going to add a little HTML and a button and a, some text to interact with that button. Horizontal panel. allows us to size buttons to the first cell. I'll try adding HTML, changing the button text. It doesn't work in HTML, so I'm going to take, copy that and put it into the text section. That will change the button value. Next, I'll add a little HTML component to interact with. Find the right spot to add it. Let's add an explicit space and align it to the middle. Check the XML source. Back to design. Let's give it a UI field name so we can Use it in our first widget, first widget.java class. Let's put HTML on front to help organize the parameters in the class. And if you hit control space or yeah, control space on the Mac and PC, you can have auto suggestion. Let's add an event on click to the button. Let's make, create a method for the on event. Say something. Let's interact with the element HTML say something. Class parameter. As we set HTML, you always want to sanitize the HTML that you render. Simple HTML sanitizer is a small utility for cleaning or sanitizing HTML. This is kind of, I wouldn't say I need this here because I'm using a more of a constant value. But th for this example, I wanted to show you how it worked. So on button push, it will say something. You clicked on me. Let's save the widgets. And then we go to the entry point class and add our widget to the root panel. And that's going to be the start of our application. 
as you can see, I'm hitting control space to auto fill in There we go, our first widget is set up to load in the root panel. I debug and it runs it. The development mode pops up the URL that will load. It's now translating or whatever it does on the back end. And there's our first widget. And if you click on me, you clicked on me. Thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. For more demos and source, visit my wiki at gwt-examples.googlecode.com.